Good morning. Bert Bartels. Bert Bartels. R. Bert Bartels. R. Bert Bartels. R stands for Robert. It stands for And Robert. I never use it. Okay. We're here at the American Legion uh, in Sorbonne's, New York, for the Smithsonian Veterans uh, Project. And today is December 12th, uh, 2004, Sunday. And it's about, uh, oh, about uh, 11.40 a.m. Also here is Alan Brzezinski handling the camera and Nikia Brzezinski who's handling the laptop. So, um, Burke, were you drafted or did you enlist? I enlisted right after my cousin was killed. Joe Sinnott, brother, J Jack Sinnott. He was in the Army, wasn't he? He was in the Army, yeah. He was killed him. They come off a of, uh, beach. In Italy? In Italy, yeah. And that, that encouraged you to enlist in the... It did, yeah, okay. along with me thinking I might be drafted before I could finish high school, so I enlisted quick. Okay. And where were you living at the time? I live in 82 and a half Washington Avenue, so is New York. Okay, you've already told me why you joined. Why did you pick that branch of the service? You joined the Navy, right? I thought the Navy was the cleanest, and I wanted to get on an aircraft carrier. Why I couldn't go? fly because of my education was too short, but I, I thought that's the closest I get to an airplane. So you went in out of high school? <clears throat> I went in out of high school. I only had a year and a half of high school. Okay. And uh, do you recall your first days in the service? What was it like? It was uh, tough. It was boot training up in Sampson, New York. It's in the Finger and Lakes I, region of New York. That's right, right yeah. Mm -hmm. And what was it like when you got there? Well, when I got there, it was uh, winter time, coming on winter. And the first thing you know, I was drafted after six weeks in boot camp to the to Davisville, Rhode Island, to uh, become a member of the Seabees. <laughs> that's the construction battalion. That's the construction the battalion. <clears throat> Why did they pick you for that? You had an aptitude? I had taken a test and I passed it on motor machinist, by the way. And that's what I was, a motor machinist striker. So you went to where in, Ro in Rhode Island? In Rhode Island, I went to Davisville, Rhode Island. When the was CB it? base, you trained by Marines. By, training by Marines. Yes, they CBs were. are always trained by Marines. Yes, they were. Okay. Yeah. So what were your Marine instructors like? Oh, rather tough and to the point. But I loved them. They were good guys. I damn near drowned, but if I find out that I, I made it to the ladder anyway. <laughs> How'd you almost drown? Well, because I'm not a good swimmer. So when I got my 14-day leave, I swam in the Hudson River for 14 days. So that when the next test I took, I passed. <laughs> when, when, when was that? What year was that? 1945. 1945? Yeah, okay. just before the war was over. One war was over while I was getting ready to leave for uh, Little Beach, California. And then by the time I got to uh, <clears throat> Mount Law Ridge or, or uh, Camp Iea, this was the first place I went in, Thanksgiving Day, and the uh, second part of the war was over. Where was Camp Iea? Camp Iea was uh, on the north, on the east side of Pearl Harbor, ah. on the island of Ahu. Then I was transferred from there to another place called Mount Law Ridge. And Mount Law Ridge is where the Japanese planes strayed their last bombs and made craters, of which we made two outdoor theaters of. You made outdoor theaters out of the craters. craters from yep. the bombs. That's yep. Did you, um, where else did you go while you were in the military service? <clears throat> uh, that's as far as I went, right okay. there. To, then I was transferred to Pearl Harbor, frozen for 90 days before discharge. And you're probably going to ask the question of uh, my support when my mother got me out of the service early. That's why I only served about 14 months, something like that. And uh, how was it, uh, what was Hawaii like when you were there? Uh, beautiful. I wouldn't mind seeing it again. I probably would never recognize it. I remember the Royal Hawaiian Hotel down by the beach at the top of the corner was blown out where the straight bombs hit from Pearl Harbor. Did you actually get, building. you went to Pearl Harbor as well, I suppose. Yeah, later I went to Pearl Harbor and I was sent home from Pearl Harbor to be discharged. What was your specialty of work? What did you do as a CB? Uh, I drove a tank truck, mm -hmm. feeding the uh, showers with uh, diesel fuel. And you didn't see any combat? No, I didn't, thank God. Did any people in your unit get injured or hurt? No, as far as I know. Uh, they tell me that the second half of the alphabet was sent to Okinawa, and I don't know what happened to that bunch, but uh, I don't think it was good. That was the second invasion there I heard, early part of, the, of uh, my enlistment. You had gotten to Hawaii by ship, I think. Yes, right? we did, yeah. Was there any uh, concern that the Japanese uh, uh, submarines would still be out Well, what happened, I do remember we laid in the water for a while because they blew a boiler, 
and they asked the CB boiler men to go down and work on the boiler, and they didn't want to because they're going overseas, but they did. They went down and repaired it. We were worried then while laying in the water that we might be hit by a, by a torpedo from a sub that don't know the war is over, the part, first part of the war. Mm -hmm. What was it like when the, uh, when the war in Europe ended where you were? Uh, everybody was happy. Yeah. And I was even more happy when the Japanese war was over. Yeah. So you were in Hawaii when the war was over? Yes, I ended. was, yeah. How'd you get the news? Do you remember how it was put out? No, I don't. Really? I just know the hooting and hollering went on, and that's what we found out. Yeah. I, my CO was only a Lieutenant J.G., but a nice guy, Jude J.G. Ross. How many people did he come in, a whole uh, CV battalion? Or? What we had as an in engineer, engineering repair shop, in our shop, big Quonset, elephant hut we call it, the Quonset hut. Yeah. And we worked out of there with electricians and plumbers and so on. And that base became a staging center so that all servicemen came in off the islands into that particular base and uh, the waves and so on sonographers had them paperwork all made up for where they were going to discharge and when and how. Big operation discharge. Big, yeah. We got a presidential citation. I got pictures I got home of us in dress parade receiving a presidential citation for, for uh, separating so many uh, servicemen. So you got the presidential unit citation, and what other uh, uh, citations and medals did you get? I got just the normal uh, ribbons, that's all. So you all. got the World War II um, victory medal? Three, three ribbons, yes. Yeah. The Pacific Theater medal. Right. Yeah. And, uh, and also the presidential unit citation. Right. right, yeah. Did you get a good conduct medal? No, I didn't, but I... I, I, I <laughs> And there was some question on my conduct. But it was, because you weren't in long enough, right? No, I told a story once, I don't know how much time I got, but you I told a story it. once about General Flanagan, then my, my cousin, then was a major. And he radiogrammed me that he's going to be in Pearl Harbor, into to, uh, the air base, okay? Clark Field? Uh, no. no. Um, what's the other base at the airport? The, the Army base? Wickham? Wickham Field. Yeah, Wickham. Yeah, Wickham Field. And, uh, I asked my CEO if I could go. He said, no, you got your duty. Let your cousin come and see you. I'm trying to say this fast so it's good get it over. Time. But anyway, I went anywhere. I took the tank truck and emptied, and I went down to the airport. Jarene stopped me and told me, those guys, you're looking for Major Fanning? I said, yes. He says to the Marine MPs, go catch that fellow bus. He's on it. He got off it, got into the truck with me, told me to park down below where his quarters was he was staying, which happened to be the judge's at the uh, quarters in the, the courtroom, and I parked in his space. When I came out, he said, don't worry about it, I'll handle it. And there was no problem, so I went home. I went back to the base. I filled the truck up, went into the base, and uh, my, my chief petty officer, Smokey, said to me, J.G. wants you in his office. And I went in, he said, I understand you just obeyed my orders. I told you not to go, so whatever punishment you got over in Hickam Field, I don't want to see you missing from your duty here. No, sir, I will not be missing from my duties. When I closed the base up, my 45 went through x-ray, and he came to me and told me he saved me this time. But I think he got the 45. And he says, twice you're in trouble, he says to me. I said, I wasn't in trouble, Hickam Field. He wasn't? No, I said, that was my cousin, Major Flanagan. Why didn't you tell me he was a major? You didn't ask me, sir. <laughs> so the general later on says, that's the way to do it. Don't volunteer information. <laughs> General Flanagan is a West Point graduate. Yes, he is. Here in uh, Saugerties. And, yes. Uh, we had him as our Grand Marshal of our Fourth of July parade. Yes, years he was. Ago. Yes, a, he was. He retired as a three-star general. Yes, he did, Lieutenant General. He served a World War II career in Vietnam. Yes, he did. Served under Westmoreland. Fine man. Yep. Um, how did you stay in touch with your family while you were away? Mail. Mm -hmm. I didn't use any phone calls then because I just all letters. Little drawings and so on. I'm like Joe Sinner. I like to draw those. <laughs> right. And uh, did you get packages from your family? Were they able to oh, send yes. stuff? Oh, yeah. yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Around the mother holidays. was very good. Yeah. What kind of things did she send you in particular? Food most of the time. Cookies and mm -hmm. candies and stuff like that. Yeah. And what was the food like that you were issued? The regular Oh, job? we ate the best. We did. Oh, the CPs always ate the best. And they drank the best. Budweiser and only Budweiser. First thing we built on the base was a beer parlor. Uh -huh. We had to sleep on a bench because we didn't put the Quonset dust up yet. <laughs> I can tell you that tradition was carried on in Vietnam when I was over there. Oh, the yes, I bet it was. Yeah, yes. right. The Marines Good always liked the CBs a lot. Yes, you know? they were. They were our best friend. Yep. Yeah. And uh, 
while you were in the service, did you feel any particular loneliness or stress or pre pressure, that type of thing? Not really. I did my duty, did my job, enjoyed it, missed home, and if it wasn't for having a girlfriend I thought I loved, I'd have probably stayed in. <laughs> uh -huh. um, what kind of things do people do to entertain themselves? Do you have any kind of... Well, we had these theater, two theaters. One yeah. was, one was uh, uh, Camp Perry Theater, I think we called it, and I don't remember what the other one was, uh, mm -hmm. up by my quarters. And uh, you had motion we, films and so forth? Or no, I didn't take I didn't take many pictures. No, did they have pictures for you to watch? And they had more movies, good movies we had. We even had Bob Hope and Bing Crosby and Dorsey and Moore and uh, Jerry Colonna. They came live to the U.S.O. Yeah. yeah, they came as a U.S.O. Yeah, yes they did. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I saw Bob Hope when I was in Vietnam. Yeah, one, one time. Yeah, I, yeah. once. We, he was there for one show. Uh -huh. Yeah. And um, wh where did you go and what did you do while you were on liberty or on leave? I didn't do much because half my pay went home. I only had $15 every two weeks. Mm -hmm. So I didn't do much. Uh, once in a while we went out, I got pictures here of me going into, Hon into Honolulu with a couple of the guys because I, I was in charge of motor pool. Mm -hmm. So I'd get a Jeep and get four or five guys in town. But I didn't do much. USO, maybe movies, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So your travels while you were in included Camp Sampson and then Rhode Island? That's right. And yeah. where else did you go? You went out to California? Yeah, I, I went to... to uh, uh, not Vitaligo Beach. I went to uh, the island and underneath the bridge oh, in California. Treasure Island. Treasure Island. Yeah. So I you went shipped out in Davisville to Treasure Island, the Treasure Island to uh, Pearl Harbor or mm -hmm. Mount Law Ridge, is yeah. uh, Island of Ahu. So you shipped and back out of home to Lido Beach and been discharged to Lido Beach. Okay. So you shipped out of San Francisco, and then when you came back, you shipped back to Lido right. Beach. Right. Right. Um, I know the CBs always have a great sense of humor, and sometimes they play pranks on people. Do they hear people do anything like that? Not really. No. Uh, we were all serious workers. Yeah, yeah. We had a, we had a tough uh, CO, like I said, Lieutenant J.G. Ross, but he mm -hmm. he was to the point. And like I said, he thought I was in trouble, and when he found out I wasn't, he was a little embarrassed because it was a major, and he was a Lieutenant J.G. <laughs> Could you show us your photographs? Why don't you just hold those? Yeah, up this so is uh, 1946. Hold it over this way. Uh, you got it? Can you see it? And I was an arrow where my kids found me when I told them right there I'm standing on that ship, the USS Marine Phoenix. That, that's the ship that brought me home from Hawaii to, to San Francisco. And I decided to take these pictures I had paid $5 for then, mm -hmm. and they were sent to me. And I went and found them and put them on this to bring them up here to the uh, Legion just to put in the trophy room. So you came back June 1946, That's right? it, yeah. Okay. And you were discharged at Lido Beach when you At Lido Beach, yes I was. Mm -hmm. Lido Beach, Long Island. Mm -hmm. Lido Beach, Long Island? Yeah. Did you, um, what was it like the day that your service ended and you were in Long Island, you said, right? Were you yes. Were you out? Uh, well, I had mixed feelings. Uh -huh. But because I was uh, engaged then to my, uh, then became my wife, I was happy to get home for that. But. Uh, I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. What did you do in the days and weeks after you got out of school? Do you remember? Uh, worked. Mm -hmm. I worked hard for my to leave money for my mother. I knew I was going into service. Mm -hmm. So I quit school in January and went into service in May. And I had about $300 given to her then. Mm -hmm. What kind of work did you do when you got out? When I got out, I tried uh, everything. I worked first as a motor machinist, mechanic, already out in the garage, and I got blood poisoning. And that was going to be on the GI Bill. Mm -hmm. So I quit that and went up and helped my father, who was a builder. Mm -hmm. And I turned out to be a builder myself and retired as a builder. So you had your own contracting business? Yes, I did. Okay. You know, I had 12 men working for me at one time. One time I worked on a thruway, a superintendent, while being section thruway. When they were building the thruway? What's that? When they were building the thruway? When they were building the thruway, okay. yes. Yeah. A lot of concrete work, huh? Oh, a lot of it. Yes, yes. I did. I didn't do the pavement. I did all the head walls and drop inlets and bridges. Wow. I built 13 bridges, I think it was. Wow. So you had developed some of these skills, I guess, while you were in the CB. Yes, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I saw a lot of it too. Mm -hmm. So you'd say that your uh, how, what was your military experience like for the rest of your life? And how did it affect you? Well, I love construction, and I still do. Mm -hmm. I did a lot around here. Oh yeah. For this place, uh, mm -hmm. for the next past 20 years. Yep. We built our new room in the museum here. Yes, really the park out. itself, this new room here, the mm -hmm. porch, yep. downstairs the uh, the entertainment room. The re I did a lot of it. Everything that touched, I was involved in. 
So you're a past commander here at this Legion? No, I never was commander. No? Never wished to be either. Okay. No. Uh, the only well, time well, I was ahead of anything, I was a commodore at a boat club down, his, down in below the creek. And I enjoyed that because all you had was a goodwill ambassador. Yeah. And I guess the commander here, too, was more or less like that. Yeah, figurehead. Yeah, but I never, I never <laughs> went for that. Did you uh, belong to other veterans organizations besides no. the Legion? American Legion, the only one I belonged to, and the CB mm -hmm. Island 9 down in Kingston. So that's the CB Association. Yes, CB it is. Veterans. All retired mm -hmm. CBs, yes. Do you have uh, meetings and so forth? Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. yeah, second do have, Thursday of every month. Do you have reunions? Uh, yeah, now and then they do, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't go to too much of them because I'm going to too many meetings as it is. Yeah. Do you keep in touch with the fellows you served with? Oh, no, I don't. Not I really. tried to reach them once when I was going over to Arizona, but I couldn't, couldn't find them. <clears throat> is there anything else you'd like to add? No, except that I'm glad I was in the service. I'm glad to be a member of this Legion post right here. I'm proud of it. I work hard for it. And uh, I do in a fire company too. And I do in the CBs. In fact, there's a lot of younger guys that's doing most of the construction work now. They do a lot of volunteer work, especially with parks that they, they restore and so on. The CB Veterans Association. Yeah, in fact, they're having their party uh, today. Ah. They're having a dinner. I'm not going to. There's too much around here to do. Joe Sinnott also is the, the other cousin. I said he belongs to the CBs too. Mm -hmm. Sonny Stasio belongs to the CBs. Paul Luke, uh, Luke does. Mm -hmm. uh, Joe uh, Tom Becker does. Yep. There's a bunch of us from Saudis that, that belong to the CBs. So we're going to ask you to get in touch with them so we can bring them up here for the Smithsonian. They've been time. here. Well, I'm saying ACBs to, have been. I mean, to be interviewed on this uh, film program. Oh, that's, yes, that'd be, that'd be nice. Right. I'll invite them. You'd be the man. Yes, I would. I'll invite them. Thank you a lot, Bernie. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good Very luck good. to you. Thank you. Thank you.